for my project, I made a Power Wheels Bluetooth kill switch. A Power Wheels is a battery operated kids car, so it's a toy car that they can drive outside. I wanted to make a kill switch specifically to turn my son's car on and off, and I wanted to be able to use my iPhone. Uh, so I decided to use Bluetooth to communicate between the car and the iPhone. Why did I want to do this? Well, it's no surprise that kids are not the best drivers. So I wanted to make this to prevent kids from crashing into things, running people over, driving into the street, and uh, stop at every intersection to check for cars. This is super important. And uh, just to give you an idea, the car can go about five miles an hour, so you have to pretty much run alongside the car if you want to keep up with it. So I put this video together just to demonstrate how it works. I also have a video of my son driving, but we weren't allowed to have people in the video, so I put this video together as well. For my project, I made a Bluetooth Power Wheels kill switch. Here we have a Power Wheels car. It's a 12 volt battery operated kids car. And for demonstration purposes, I have it propped up right now. And I also have the pedal pushed down with a wooden stick. I had to do this just for the video since we weren't able to have any people and I wasn't able to have a driver in the car. Um, so right now the pedal is always pushed down. Here's a typical power wheel setup. You have a 12 volt battery and a connector coming from the car. And the normal way to set it up would just be plug the car into the battery. And the car is given 12 volts. For my purposes, I wanted to be able to turn the car on and off using my iPhone. So I made a Bluetooth relay, which will allow me to turn the car on and off using my iPhone. Um, I bought these connectors off of eBay. So I can just plug directly into the battery and directly into the car without uh, cutting any of the car's wires or modifying the car in any way. So now what we have is 12 volts going through the relay and back to the car. For the second part of my project, I made a iPhone app. Here you can see I have a Bluetooth kill switch iPhone app that I made. And so when the car is connected via Bluetooth to the app, uh, you're presented with a screen that says go. If I push go, the car will turn on. And when I push stop, the car turns off. So like I said, it's over Bluetooth. So once the car loses connection or drives too far away, it should automatically turn off. And this is a safety feature in case your kid gets out of range or gets too far, their car will lose power. So let's, I can demonstrate that by turning the Bluetooth off on my phone. And you can see here, it's a screen that says Bluetooth not connected. Once your kid is back in range or you get closer to the car, the car will turn back on. And for the final part, I can show you what's inside of the relay. Here I have a 12 volt relay, custom circuitry to hook up the relay to an Arduino board. And this Arduino feather board comes with a built-in Bluetooth module. You can see right now it's connected, the blue light is on. And this is a voltage regulator. Uh, the car needed 12 volts, but an Arduino board only needs three to five volts. So I use this to drop the voltage down to 4.3. And that's my project. So as I mentioned, I was using an Arduino Adafruit feather board. Um, this uses Bluetooth low energy. And when I was testing outside, I found the Bluetooth range to be approximately 100 feet, which was great for keeping the car within line of sight so I could see my son at all times. The iPhone app, I came up with three user interface screens. So the first one is a button that says go, second is a button that says stop, and the last one is a screen that says Bluetooth not connected. Some of the technical details. So to turn the car on, I send a P, a ping signal, every half a second. And that P goes from the phone to the car and the car is listening for the ping. As long as it has a ping, then the car uh, supplies power. When, I press, when you press the stop button, a kill signal is sent and that's the letter K. So the phone sends a K from, from the phone to the car and the car turns off. And lastly, when it's out of range, the car is always listening for the ping signal. And if it hasn't heard a ping for two seconds, then power to the car is cut off. Overall, it was a great learning experience. Um, it was one of my first electrical engineering projects and it was a great mix of electrical and software engineering.
I'll definitely continue using this um, over the summer with my son and friends and colleagues have already asked me to make one for their kids. So I'll do that as soon as I have time. And it combined two of my favorite hobbies, cars and programming. So that was really fun for me and it didn't even seem like a chore at all. So thank you so much for your time and I really appreciate this opportunity.